Hey guys, Cole here. Welcome back to another Raid Challenge video. We have news of this new champion that is being added to the game. I've made a video yesterday saying that it is disappointing that they don't introduce new content in the game. They introduce new champions. I won't, I won't say that this new champion is not good. I've looked at the skills. It's good champion. They want to get new players in. That's why they get Ronda Rousey. They get Ninja. They get famous actors to market the game because they want new users to get more money. And they don't care really about us quitting the game. As long as they get the value, I'm going to say, of around $50 per user spent, they pretty much make their money. And there's many players out there who are free to play and spend less than that. And there's many players who spend way more than that. So that's why the game still goes, right? Because they are successful in that. That has been covered so, so, so much by, um, by other uh, creators, uh, like uh, this whole thing. But let's have a look at this Ronda Chase, right? There's a promo code as well, which it seems to be, um, I mean, let me just check on. Yeah, it's Raid, Raid Ronda. We'll, we'll take that in right now. We get, wow, look at that, six star Savage at the end of the last four days before we get the champion then at the end we get the champion which is really cool the savage year especially getting that for free is is something that i really really like in terms of this like imagine if they gave us an attack set instead so this is this is like a nice addition the the savage set i'm not gonna lie so let's get the the promo code raid ronda and see what we get we had five okay five energies Five energies at six days. So I'm going to claim it right now. We get a half a million silver. We get an XP boost, which is nice. And then some 150 multi battles, which I'll claim since I'll probably forget them if I don't claim them. So let's have a look at Raid Ronda, Ronda and her skills. Uh, wait, what? What faction is she? Is she barbarian? Is she barbarian? What faction did they make here? I didn't check. <laughs> I forgot to check. All right. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. They kind of made her barbarian. No, she's not here. Sacred order. No. All right. What what makes sense to make her Sylvan Watcher? No, because that's 11. Like I've cheated looking at that. Um, She's not a Shadowkin for sure. OK, this makes no sense. Like, why would they make her anything other than a barbarian? It makes so much sense for it to be a barbarian. Um, high elves? No. Banner lords? Banner lords? How is she a banner lord? Like she, she definitely looks like a sacred order. Maybe. Anyway, uh, her her looks are pretty nice. Okay, pretty nice. Looks nothing like Juliana, which we were, we were guessing yesterday, like an ultimate Juliana or something. It was just the ponytail at the back which was making us guess and the shoulder pads. But anyway, let's have a look at the skills. I'm not going to say it's amazing looking, but I like the fist, the flaming fist. And I think there's a skin also, which is going to be featured in the future. This one, I think looks a little bit better than this one. This one doesn't look to have so much detail anywhere else rather than the fist. Like, I don't like it so much as this one. This one's this one's pretty cool. And the hair is, is I prefer the hair um, rather than the ponytail. Anyway, anyway, let's look at the skills. Overall, the stats look at um, pretty pretty low HP. It's it's reasonable for an attack based champion. Attack is at one thousand five hundred forty two. That's pretty much average. The speed is nice at one hundred and one, and then she's got forty resist, which is whatever. Okay, let's look at the A one four books here. Attacks one enemy three times, places an extra hit if the target has less than fifty percent HP after the third hit. Um. This is this is solid. It's a triple hitting attack. The multiplier from what I've found from some data mines out there is that the multiplier for this is at a 1.2. So for a triple hitting attack, this becomes a 3.6 plus the extra attack becomes a 4.8, right? Which is OK, I would say. So um, if you get the four attacks, if you if you don't, it becomes an average hitting uh, attack, then the A2 Triple hitting will ignore shield buffs and 30% of the target's defense. So this goes against the bolster set. And it's a single target hitting attack. Places a block passive skills debuff for two turns before attacking. This is big against champions like Leorius. So you can actually kill off Leorius with her. 
also plays a block active skills debuff for two turns after attacking this is insane um in terms of the the debuff cannot be resisted this is what i want out of top tier champions um and and only three books which is nice a three turn cooldown with with her uh, booking out this skill a 1.9 multiplier on this times three that becomes almost a six it's, it becomes a what 5.7 Right, if my math is correct for a single target, it's okay. It's not on the on the lower tier. It's not on the higher tier in terms of single target damage. But because this ignores also thirty percent of the target's defense, and also the cannot be resisted debuffs that she applies, this becomes huge in PvP. This this will be a PvP champion that everybody will be using against specific comps. Will be able to lock out specific champions that can be annoying, like Mithrala with her huge resist. You'll be able to lock this out only if Mithrala doesn't have something like a block debuff buff already. But nobody really runs that in this game. Attacks all enemies two times. Damage increased by 30% if this champion has more than 50% HP. So if you open up with this skill, you'll be doing this plus 30%. So this one has a multiplier of a 1.9. That's almost a 4 multiplier. It's a 3.8 times 30%. All right. So uh, let me let, let me let me calculate this. So 3.8 times 30%. This becomes almost a five multiplier AOE attack um, in total. All right. So it, it, it's it's a 2.5 each attack. This I don't expect this to be a big damage in attack. I, we will really have to test her out to really see on what she does. Immune to terminator reduction effects when the skill is not on cooldown. Um, that's okay. Terminator reduction skills. Wait, how many do we have in the game? It's not really about Terminator reduction anymore in the arenas. But anyway, it's cool to have and also decrease Terminator reduction against this champion by 50% when this skill is on cooldown. These are okay to have, right? Um, I'm not gonna say these are amazing as a passive. I can't think of any situation right now that this would be affected. But, um... Her skills look overall okay. The A2 is what I find the most interesting in terms of killing offs and doing single target high damage. All right? Has a 15% chance to join an attack whenever an ally attacks an enemy. This champion will attack with their default skill. So with this, which, which is nice, at the start of each round, places a shield buff on this champion for two turns equal to 40% of their max health. So her max health is not that great. So she gets some protection. That is pretty nice in terms of having a shield available. The 15% chance to join an attack seems okay too. And this will be useful for Fire Knight. A lot of players out there who have an issue with Fire Knight will find that this join of attack in an ally attack comp, in any kind of comp where champions are attacking all the time, getting Ronda to get a, a turn in there and do three hits on the Fire Knight shield, that will be huge in getting that shield down she'll she'll be very good in there even on 20 i would say even though you'll still need some terminator reduction on fire knight 20 on 25 i think she'll be a high damage potential with this with this a2 um i don't know about the a3 how much damage this will be doing and if this will be helping the waves but um the a2 will be solid in terms of just doing damage and uh that yeah that's pretty much it Here's ally attacking all battles by 30%. That is nice. If you put her in the lead, I will probably put her in the lead slot and then have uh, put her in with my Acrisia. I, I think that she's a solid champion. Overall, uh, they've added this plus the promo code just to get people going with this one. They want players to enter the game. If you're a new player, um, yeah, might as well just enjoy the game. Just be free to play if you want. If you don't want to be a spender, whatever. It's all up to you. Uh, I do find, I do find the champion interesting. Not not as ninja. Ninja was way stronger, I find. But of course, not many players were aware of how strong Ninja was on on day one that he was launched just on paper without even um, play testing him. But now, actually, with Ronda and and seeing Ronda in the game, and she'll probably be empowered by something very special. Uh, let's have a look. Does it say here? Ronda is empowered by Cillian, which I do have copies of. Ooh, that is nice. I do have copies of Cillian, I think. Do I care about Banner Lords? I don't care about Banner Lords. I've got three copies of Cillian. I can actually feed two of them 
And I don't really care about the extra 10% attack. Like eventually I'll max this out. But this is the least of my concerns in terms of Banner Lord. Uh, so I can make her a plus two. Which would be nice for a showcase. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.